Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will have a look at these three puzzles and today there will be no solution for them. I just received them and I would like to show you these three puzzles because they are currently part of a Kickstarter campaign which ends in about four or five days. I have them already here and I would ju just because I'm absolutely convinced about these puzzles they are very very cool and I would like to show them to you that you still have the chance to get them and no this episode is not sponsored by anyone who are related to this Kickstarter campaign or anyone else okay so I get no money here for this review just to be clear I don't want to sell them to you I want you to decide on your own if you, they are worth to buy it or not but from my point of view they are great okay what these puzzles about well they are so-called fractal jigsaws and I already reviewed one of them in the past, it's called Pento T. I will put the link up here that you can also check it. And they are made out of mathematical patterns that are used to fill some space here on these puzzles. For example, this one is called the Hilbert Curve. And the Hilbert Curve is written here on this Kickstarter campaign, I didn't find out this by myself. It uh, was first described by a German mathematician, David Hilbert, in 1891. And it is a square space filling pattern drawn to its sixth iteration. And this is basically the easiest one of these three. More details about this one later. Then we have another one here, which is called the Gosper curve. And the Gosper curve, named after Bill Gosper and known as the snowflake. Oh, pretty obvious. And this one, the last of these three, this is the most difficult one, according to the Kickstarter page. And um, this is a so-called dragon curve. It's kind of a rounded flowing pattern and nearly identical pieces make it the hardest one of these three puzzles. So at first, maybe let's start with the Hilbert curve, which is supposed to be the easiest one, but I can tell you already, all of these three puzzles are, can be considered to be very difficult. I really, um, well, I noticed it when I solved the Pento T puzzle. And what's also pretty cool, I cannot really apply the trick I used to solve the Pento T using the grain of the parts because it's just too fine, I cannot identify it. And let's just have a look at the single parts. There are smaller parts like this but also there are bigger parts like over here, for example. This one is a huge part, for example, as you can see. And I mean, look at the detail. This looks just amazing. And what's very special for this kind of puzzle is when you put the puzzles back in place, they are disappear in plain sight. So I can just demonstrate it to you here from the side view. As soon as I drop, put it here in place, the puzzle or the part will just disappear. I will just put the pieces back together. And what's also very special for these kind of puzzles is that you can um, basically place the parts pretty much everywhere. And in the beginning, then you will um, start to notice you just approached it in the wrong way and you can restart. So it's these are very difficult. Don't underestimate these puzzles. And the second one, is the so-called Gosper curve, the snowflake puzzle. I will just take out a part, then you can have a closer look. I don't want to turn it around and remove all the parts because I will not be able to finish this video anymore. And these parts look like this and also they are pretty amazing. I mean, look at this, like a ninja puzzle or something. <laughs> Very cool. And when I put them back, the parts just hide here in plain sight. This is so amazing and you can nearly not identify here or it's, it's basically impossible to identify the single parts without having a very very close look. And the last one here 
is the dragon curve and this is also pretty cool because these parts are somehow rounded and they look also amazing here as you can see and the best is the assembly because it's this gives you this amazing incredibly well a uh, cool looking effect here of these disappearing parts i mean look at this i can also show it to you again in a close-up watch this isn't this amazing incredible it's really cool and i'm very excited about this kickstarter campaign i think the puzzle community is a small rather a small community so we need to support each other and i can absolutely recommend this puzzle, these puzzles if you like this video just check out the campaign and get one of these puzzles yourself and of course if you like this video you can also hit the like button or you should hit the like button you should also comment below i would like to know which one is the fa your favorite here and you can also of course like my instagram and facebook channel and until next time keep on puzzling <laughs>